here are my swans who guard the mega fish pond which is in there here we go one two what up slayers today we are going to be visiting the mega fish pond i know it's been a long time since we've been there last time we were there all my fish were killed by the evil hurricane irma i couldn't stand hurricane irma but it's been like I don't know probably like five months since I visited and it's because it's been closed but now it's open kind of I'm gonna sneak in but don't 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 tell anybody she's not gonna say anything look at my women hello Lily hello. Lily Salam yes hello, yes guys. as requested you guys did name her Lily Salam as well because she is part of me now but <laughs> you can't believe but I can't believe what yep. I'm looking at right now and that is a massive turd <laughs> it's massive deuce that's something dropped wait was it you guys hello my children my swans my lovely lovely swans have you ever seen swans before women I have yes well there goes that moment here are my swans who guard the mega fish pond which is in there time to head over there now this is the real objective though we must oh god <laughs> must dodge the landmines ready frolic frolic quickly tiptoe Tiptoe. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Whew. What a terrible way to make it to the pond, guys. I hear the pumps. That's a good sign. Hopefully they turn on the pumps over there. So there's this weird fence that I must jump in order to get to the pond. Are you ready to jump the fence, Libby? Not really. We're going to jump this fence, guys. It's a very hard fence to jump. We just got to make sure we can jump it. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two... Psych. Guys, we have great news! You hear that? Do you hear it? I hear it. You hear it? That's flowing water, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, the pumps are up and running. It's clear over there. You guys remember, it was empty. Oh my gosh. This is... I'm gonna cry. Everything died before. Look, there's a fish over there. What are you? Who is it? Who are you? Show your face. I have an invader. No, not the sliders. Not the slider turtles. Look. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I kept you guys zoomed in. Look, there's so much vegetation here. The water is clear. There could be fish here, but they could be hiding. I saw, saw that pleco. I'm pretty sure that's a pleco from afar. The glare, I forgot my, my polarized lens. But, oh my gosh, guys, if you remember before how terrible everything was, I'm going to go ahead and play a clip of the death of my pond. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, getting, it's gotten out of control. The water used to be all the way up to here and it slowly went down. It didn't respond. No, guys. Oh my gosh. No. There's movement. There's nothing floating. I don't see anything yet. No, not the Jag, guys. No, the Jag. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm heartbroken. This sucks. My pond's dead, guys. I'm so happy that it's up and running again. This is amazing. You don't know. There used to be so many cichlids here, like Midas, Jaguars. There was everything here back in the day when I stocked everything up and now there's nothing but there's hope now we can go ahead and fill this up <gasps> my brim there's brim in here look at that life so it's definitely fish safe the pond is a hundred percent good to go now we just gotta fill it up babe what do you say it's so nice let's do it let's do it let's get it is that is that what I think it is my first sighting of a spotted tilapia guys this is so promising so so promising and there's minnows i'm so happy oh you're right there look there's even fruit from the garden of salam growing guys this is this is very encouraging i'm so happy garden of salam. yes i'm so happy guys like i was really i was really worried that there's gonna be empty and we're about to go ahead and take the hike another sad hike around the place but now that it's filled guys i can't wait to fill it up it's gonna be awesome but um also oh my gosh i have great news I forgot to say it, like, I just thought about it, but Lily bought me a tank off of OfferUp, a big, fat, 40-gallon tank. 
So what do you think if we go ahead and just get it ready and fill it up? What do you think? Let's do it. Isn't she the best right here, Pondy? So got him. Okay, Slayers, we made it back to the house. It's a little dark. It was like towards the evening when we were recording, checking out the new pond. I'm so happy about the Mega Fish Pond. I can't even tell you guys what's going to be coming in the future now that I know that the Mega Fish Pond is back and up and running. But in the meantime, guys, it's a beautiful tank that Lily went ahead and got for me from off road. For this canister filter I had in my garage. It's good to go. We just got to get it all cycled up. It's all cleaned and everything. It's a little dirty. You can never get these off. For as long as I've been in the fish keeping hobby, I've never been able to get this gunk off. So if you guys know a little secret, please feel free to share it. I'll go ahead and shout out that person who knows a secret or something like that in the future when this is all working out. But guys, look at this. It's a good tank. I can't complain. It's a 40 gallon breeder. How could I forget? Look at Spud. Guys, I added some more sand as requested. For Spud right now, he's a little out. He's not really um, hiding. I hate that. This was completely level, by the way. Like, it was even. It's crazy how much he actually burrows, but it's awesome. Great suggestion, guys. I, I do pay attention to those comments. And I, I don't like a lot of substrate because I want to see my fish. But for these type of fish, just like you were saying, and everything I've been researching, man, they love the burrow since they're ambush predators. So definitely 100% to you guys. Appreciate you guys always giving your insight because I do pay attention. I do listen to that because this is these are our fish This is not just my fish. This is everyone's fish. It's it's a dream team out here It's we are a giant giant team. It's the Slayer squad for life guys Like I want everyone to go ahead and understand that what I'm doing is not only for me But if it wasn't for you guys also, you know cheering me on and making sure I continue to pump out these fits Like everything I'm doing is for you guys also. See you guys look at that <laughs> He completely is buried ready to get some food. Hello, babe. Hi. Well, you okay? What you drop? Good. You make me nervous. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's the Slayers. <laughs> that's why. But look at Spud. And then I was just explaining to them. Look how the tank looks. It looks great, right? It looks awesome. Uh, thanks. That's all you, right here. Welcome. Oh, you thought I was gonna eat? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Always have them fear you. All right, guys. It looks good to me. Everything's all set. Now we're ready for water. What do you think? Wait. But what about the sand? Oh my god, we have to decorate in that sand. I guess we're gonna add sand then. Fine. 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 Sorry. We'll go ahead and add some sand. And then maybe, you know what, look for a lid as well over there at Home Depot? Good idea. We've made it to Homey Depot. Where... What are you... What's wrong with you? <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get the sand from here, guys. Guys, as stated before in previous videos, I always recommend pool filter sand. It's cheaper. You can wash it off. It lasts a long time as well as you can get it at almost any hardware store for a great price. Look at the price of this. This is one cheap lid. Check it out, guys. This is an egg crate. I saw this at Predatory Fence and he told me to go ahead and get egg crate and I had to find it. And I'm just gonna share this information with you. It's a cheap way to go ahead and cover your tank. But now we're gonna go ahead and put this inside and head to the house. Check it out. We're back with everything we need. Now, let's go ahead and set up this tank. What do you think? Let's do it. Oh, wait. I just realized we're missing something. A rock. No, not a rock. We need a light to see the fish. Oh, oh my gosh, now I have to go back to the store. Oh, guess we're going to Pet Supermarket. Now, Pet Supermarket. All right, we gotta go ahead and get this cool new light fixture. Look, she's already in there. She didn't even think about me. She just left me. She's just so excited to see the fish. Look at these zebra loaches, they're so cool. I might have to get a couple in the future. They're so amazing. I love the clowns. I might have to get clown and zebras. Guys, they may not have the lights that I need, but they definitely have these crayfish. Look at them. They're so big for live crayfish. I don't know what this beeping noise is. It's quite annoying. But oh man, guys, I might have to do a video that I go fishing with crayfish because this is cool. I might have to do that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. They didn't have what we're looking for, babe. Oh, unfortunately, they did not have the light. So now to Petco. Here we go. The Fluval Aqua Sky Fire. Now that you can use your uh, your phone as the control. I'm so excited, guys. This is exactly what I've been looking for. All right, guys. Here's our egg crate. What we're doing now is you can go and grab a couple pliers or clippers, and you go ahead and just cut it based on your tank dimensions. All right guys, here's my pool filters in. I'm moving it around to go ahead and get all that excess dirt out so it doesn't get stuck inside my tank. All right, so guys, we just added our sand. Looks pretty good. Kind of pretty heavy. Now we just gotta go ahead and shovel it around and get it all ready 
for our potential new tank mate, which I still don't know what we're gonna get. So guys, let me know in the comments below what we're gonna go ahead and get, cause man, I'm excited for what's to come and what we're gonna put in here, guys. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe, like this video, go ahead and comment. I'm gonna go ahead and continue setting up this tank, adding water, letting it cycle, adding the proper nutrients. We got our light. Check out our light. Ah, it's fire. It's awesome. We got everything we need, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I sure did. Lily, thank you so much for this awesome tank. You're welcome. And for helping me with all this camera stuff. She's going to be a huge part in what's to come. And I'm so happy to have her around, guys. And I hope you enjoy her as much as I do, guys. Go ahead and see you guys in the next episode.